Vince Fraser was flying a 1967 Aero Commander July 4th weekend. He lost power, and with less than 100 hours of flying under his belt, he was able to land on the highway without hitting any cars or power lines, and he joins us now. It's Ooh. really, really Ooh. incredible, and I hope that all the airlines are watching now, thinking, oh, we got to get this, <laughs> we got to hire this guy, because we need more pilots. What was it like when you realized you had lost power? Um, at first, it was... Uh... <clears throat> It was, it was almost like you're in disbelief when I when I realized that I lost power. Uh, the whole thing probably lasted from 5,000 feet to on the ground, maybe less than three minutes. So I didn't have time to panic. So I just had to find a plan of action and go through my checklist and just find the best place to land. And uh, that's that's what was going through my head at that time. Vince, I'm watching this video. I'm thinking, what what what, what does he think is around the next turn? And where's the next car going to come from? And you see the car off to the left just stops there, Dane, in the middle of the road. Yeah. And I, th this is far western North Carolina. So th th this wasn't farm country. Th these are mountains. You're coming up toward, like, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah. I, that, that, that was Correct. a challenge. It, it, it was. Um, when, I, when I was coming down and I saw those power lines and I saw the cars, and uh, I almost had an out-of-body, out-of-plane experience. Mm -hmm. And... I was just trying to observe and take everything in and make adjustments and correct and just not hit anybody or, 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 or kill ourselves, at, you know, or hurt anybody. So my biggest concern was like threading that, ne like, you know, threading the line through the needle. It's, you know, in, in uh, Wyoming, there's a saying that if you get thrown off your horse, you got to get right back on. Uh, did you fly again right after that or have you taken a break? Uh, so right after that, three days later, after uh, the aircraft was checked out and uh, deemed safe to uh, take off, um, they towed it up the mountain, and I was able to take off off of the mountain. And I did a seven-minute flight to Macon County Airport, where the aircraft is just sitting there now. Oh. Um, I'm having it more <laughs> thoroughly looked at. So you got back on the horse, Vince. I did for a short, for a short bit, yes, I did. <laughs> well, did you practice this when you were getting your pilot's license? Uh so you you practice emergency you practice touch and goes which you know it's practicing for an emergency landing but you just don't practice for these curves and these hills and and, and the power lines and the cars so all that you kind of just gotta make it happen on the fly and I don't know I honestly don't know how I did it it's just, <laughs> but you did and we are glad just, that you did and we're glad that you're here today do you do, do you have aspirations at all to be a commercial airline pilot or oh wait there's a dog involved. Oh, that's my dog, Casper. Oh, so cute. <laughs> he goes cute. flying with us every now and then. Did he panic? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's super calm. He's like, he's my support guy. He's super calm. Wow. I just, Vince, you had to be holding your breath that there was no car in that middle lane. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of all the days. Uh, we should interview a driver. We'll see. If, if you're watching yeah. and you were driving by and you saw this, let yeah. us know. Vince, thank you so hey, much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for making our day, Vince. Thank you guys yeah. for having me. Well done. Take care. Best to Casper. You.